Match Week 16 comes to you from the Jurongi Stadium, where it's third versus fourth in the Singapore Premier League. Tanjong Paga will be hoping that they can find the early season form that saw them try to cement themselves in third position. How gang their opponents tonight, though, have only lost once in the last seven matches and are looking to close that gap even more on their host tonight. With all the goals coming late on between these two, we can expect a grandstand finish to the game as neither side will give up until the final whistle. Fired in and well, it's an Olympic goal. It's gone straight in without the keeper touching it. And direct from the corner, it's found the back of the net. Rayman, Ray entrusted in taking the corner, has scored the first Olympic goal of the season. Can Hagan come back? Nice little turn and a little bit of trickery there from Sale. Lovely ball forwards as well. And here we go. Is it the equaliser? It's been bundled in. No flag shown. And it's Sao Lamoua who scores another goal this season. He's just got himself to 40 Singapore Premier League goals. There's goal number 41. No mistake from him. So a little bit of drama here at Jurongi Stadium. Could be a little bit more here. There it is. He's got another one. Nishiguchi in the right place at the right time. Making absolutely no mistake. And getting himself his 14th goal of the season. And you have to say on the balance of play, the opportunities and the chances created that it's deserved for Tanjong Paga. And it's deserved not more so than the man who has worked his socks off these first 37 and a half minutes for the Jaguars, Nishiguchi. Shuto's back there, putting the challenges in. In the end, everybody everywhere, Shafiq Ghani, handball! <laughs> Penalty's been awarded. The question is, is one, is the arm in an unnatural position? Yeah. Two, was it intentional? It'll give him a boost in confidence if he scores here. It'll be back-to-back -back games with goals, and it is Bortoluzzo. Comfortable as you like, outfoxing the goalkeeper and just telling him so after he put it in the opposite corner. Yeah, it's that uh, the goalkeeper dependent technique of Pedro Bortoluzzo. You have a look at the way he takes his penalties, he's got his eyes on the goalkeeper all the way through. Keeps it simple, Sahil moves it on. Yamakaze tried that little cutting back strike that we saw in the first half from Nishiguchi. Trying to outfox Zarfan in goal, cutting it back to that near post, but a good save from the keeper in the uh, end. For a moment, I thought he was just about to squeeze it in. There was not much uh, pace on this, but it was more so the uh, sort of disguise he put in that shot. He had to scramble across very quickly, Zarfan. Ball whipped in, it's far too close to the keeper. Bennett rolls it back, the referee taking a good long look at his watch. And for the third time this season, both sides can't be separated, and it's finished in a draw. So honours even again for a third time this season. Very, very little to choose between these two sides. It means Sanjan Pagi United stay in third place. They move on to 26 points. Haugang on 21. Tampanese Rovers jumps above them. But at the Jurongi Stadium, here it's finished. Tanjan Paga 2, Haugang United 2.